Hello guys, in this video we will discuss about directives in Angular JS. Directives are the most important components of any Angular JS application. According to Angular documentation, directives are a way to teach HTML new tricks. Essentially, directives give HTML new functionalities. You can also say directives are the markers on DOM element that tell Angular HTML compiler to attach a specified behavior to that DOM element. We have already seen few directives like ng app and ng model in the previous video. If you missed it, click here to know about it. Now you can think of directive as a little block that can put together to perform a lot of different operations and to build an application. They can do all kind of things like DOM manipulation, data binding, we can refer our controllers and modules using directives, handling events, modify CSS and even you can decide where the view will load into the shell page. So there are a lot of different things you can do with directives and I have just mentioned some key areas where we use directives. There are a lot of built-in directives in AngularJS and to make it more easy for you, I have divided few directives according to the categories. So starting with the first category that is your modules and controller. In this category, we have ng-app and ng-controller directives. ng-app and ng-controller are basically used to refer your modules and controller to the shell page. If you want to handle the forms and form validation in AngularJS, then we have lot of directives related to the form like ng min length, maximum length to decide the minimum and maximum length of the input. For DOM manipulation, we have lot of directives like ng show and hide, ng if, ng repeat and ng switch and so on. Suppose you want to show and hide an element on the basis of expression. So you can use ng show and hide directive. We will see the practical demonstration in the coming video. If you want to handle events in AngularJS, then we have event category and there we have lot of directives like ng click and ng change. For binding related stuff, we have different directives like ng bind, ng model and ng init. If you recall the previous video, we have already discussed about the ng model. Now please make a note here that these are just a small subset of directives and there are a lot of built-in directives in AngularJS. AngularJS built-in directives always prefix with ng namespace. This is not only you can do with AngularJS directive. Sometimes we want to create our own directives that is called custom directives and we will discuss how you can create your own directives in the coming videos. There are different ways to specify directives in AngularJS and it all depends on the directive and how it defined in the module. So the first way to define a directive is a tag itself. For example here ngView is acting like a tag but it is a directive. The another way we have seen before with ng model with the directive were defined as an attribute. So here you can say ng show is a built-in directive in AngularJS but it is defined as an attribute on the div. The third way we can write directive as a class. And the last way to define directive is as a comment. And out of the mentioned different ways, according to the documentation, the best preferred way of using directive is via tag name or as an attribute. The last two way, the class name and the comment is not a recommended way to use directives. And the reason behind it, because the tag name and attribute generally make it easier to determine what directives are given element matches. This is all for today and in the coming video, we will discuss few built-in directives actually into the action. Hope you liked this video and if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much and see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.